Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter, Straight Game TV. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hitting the play button. I appreciate your time. Uh, hit the subscribe button. The thumbs up is always appreciated. And or the bell notification if you want to be one of the first people notified when I drop some of this straight game. Um, this question right here comes from a brother from Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, uh, uh, if you will. And the question is, is um, do I think that Tupac told Suge Knight that, um, uh, quote, uh, he Tupac called out to him and said to him that he loved me when Tupac was uh, on life support, if you will. I, I added the I, at, on life support part, right? <laughs> um, and the fact of the matter is, um, I'm going to give you the facts here. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that's not true at all. Tupac didn't say anything to Suge Knight. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, Tupac didn't really say anything to anybody once he reached the hospital. Um, and, and this is according to the medical professionals. But first, I'm going to give you, you, you these facts, right? So you, you got to take into account, you know, they're at University Medical Center. Um, you know, Suge's there. Suge had been uh, uh, grazed in the head by a bullet. You know what I mean, and 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 so on and so forth. And Tupac is now um, undergoing these surgeries and things of that nature, having to be resuscitated at least three times, right? Because uh, he had flatline. Uh, but but I'm gonna give it to you like this. So Tupac's mom, you know, reaches the hospital. What you got to understand what I what I look at when when you know when I'm asked this question from the brother from Tennessee when I'm asked this question um I got to look at first and foremost who Tupac loved the most right um and it wasn't Suge Knight um I, I, Tupac loved his mother uh unmeasurably um you know and I don't think words you know or they may can cuz he wrote the song Dear Mama but but can express the way that Tupac felt about his mom, um, uh, felt about his sister and all of the other family members that have showed up to the hospital and the people that he he felt like was close to him. So beings that I did not hear Afeni Shakur say anything in regards to what her two her son Tupac Shakur told her at the hospital because he had all of these tubes and things of that nature uh, uh, in him. And so on and so forth. Um, for me, what works for me is is the fact that um, he he wasn't able to talk. He was on life support, and 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 I'm gonna give it to you just straight up, you know, from a factual standpoint, and and how I understand it to be when you when you dealing with the the thing about you know as far as you know when Tupac got to the hospital, you have to understand. Um, it says when Tupac arrived at the hospital trauma center he was wheeled into the recovery area was resuscitated according to the advanced trauma life support protocol right the report says and a full trauma activation was called he was placed on life support machines right now this is before anybody could you know get to him they they're taking you into the hospital so you're not able to talk to anybody they're basically trying to save your life it says two liters of blood that had hemorrhaged into his chest cavity were removed his pulse was very thready and initially he had a minimal blood pressure which rapidly declined he was taken immediately to the operating room for operative intervention and further resuscitated he had his right lung removed now you got to understand at that particular time basically what they're saying is tupac was placed on life support machines so as they were operating him he was on life support 
while they were doing the operation, hopefully trying to bring him back, uh, give him the blood that he had lost and all of these things. So, so, you know, um, I, I heard about that statement. I really didn't know I had to look it up, but I never heard, heard about, you know, Suge Knight saying that, you know, why, you know, Tupac was in his bed at the hospital that Tupac, you know, spoke out to him and basically told him, uh, uh, and, and I quote, uh, he, he said that Tupac called out to him and said that he loved me. Like I said, once again, you have to understand and take this from a real perspective and, and just use common sense. The medical professionals in this situation do not have any bone uh, uh, to pick. They're not choosing sides. They're doing their job. And so when I read what I understand to be from the medical professionals, right? Um, they work on people every day. They don't care if you're Tupac Shakur or nobody Shakur. You know, their job usually is to try to save your life. And that's what I believe that they were trying to do. And so when I see the report and the report basically says when Tupac arrived at the hospital, he was in such bad condition that he was immediately uh, uh, given the life support protocol and placed on life support and then taken into surgery. So at that particular time, he doesn't have time to tell anybody that he loves him, you know, that he cares for him or any of those things. He's not in a position to do that because he's in the doctor's care. And what they're trying to do is save his life. So um, to the brother uh, um, from, from Tennessee, no, I don't believe that at all. You know what I mean? If, if you're asking me, like I said, based on the information uh, that I'm able to to obtain and, and read and see, you know, you know, the you know, comparing you know, what people who don't have a, a, a dog in the fight would have to say versus someone uh, um, dealing with Suge being in the car and so much uh, having to explain now or being held responsible falsely, you know, to some degree because people were like, you know, Suge had something to do with it and so on and so forth. That I don't believe uh, uh, for one second. But just that that image once again dealing with the image you know Tupac you know you know said he loved me you know what I mean um like I said I, I don't doubt that Tupac cared about Suge you know as a person an individual when he was alive and well and talking and all of those things because he expressed as much but at that particular time in the hospital um you know what doctors described when he got to the hospital you know uh, they had to put them on life support. No, you're not telling anybody you love them on life support. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? And the machines are breathing for you and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah. So to the brother from Tennessee, I absolutely positively do not believe that. And furthermore, once again, I say to you, there were other people there that if Tupac could speak and, and you know, people who were allowed in the room, because I'm what I from what I understand, um, a Feeney kind of uh, uh, Tupac's mom kind of handled that, you know, with, you know, with the utmost secrecy in regards to who she led in the room and so on and so forth. So in sitting at, um, you know, Tupac's bedside and being there, like I said, once again, his mother didn't say anything like that. And I'm sure from what I knew from Tupac. Right. And how much I knew that he cared for his mom and so on and so forth. If he's going to tell anybody that he loves them, that um, or whatever he's feeling, it would be his mother. And his mother said out of her mouth that my son wasn't able to speak, um, you know, and she uh, explained the grave condition, you know, just being honest about it, the grave condition that Tupac was in. And therefore, from her perspective, you know, she didn't want him to suffer anymore. And that was the reason why she basically... Uh, uh, stopped the, the life support care and basically pulled her plug and let her son rest. These are the facts. Like I said, so when somebody can, you know, um, in one minute what Suge said, you know, well, they asked, you know, well, if you knew who shot Tupac, would you would you tell, you know, the police or the authorities or so on and so forth? And, and he said no because he don't work for the police. But now all of a sudden, you know, he'll tell the world that Tupac said that he loved him. You know, from that perspective, 
not really thinking about, okay, you know, what does the, the family feel and what do they need at that particular time? So, like I said, I don't believe Suge Knight had anything to do with that. And I believe that Suge Knight cared for Tupac. You know what I mean? But at that particular time, based on the information, based on the facts, from people who have no uh, bone to pick, dog in the fight, you know, they're not a blood or a crip. They're not, um, you know, they're to take sides. They're there to save lives. And like I said, once again, it doesn't matter if you're Tupac Shakur or nobody Shakur. These people do not have a reason to lie. And like I said, in explaining what it was that happened and like how it happened, you know, him having a lung removed and all of these things. Like I said, once again, um, it, it, I find it disingenuous at best that 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 sure would make that statement. Like I said, for me, I don't believe it, you know, based on the, what the medical professional said. You, you know, you know, brother from Tennessee, like I said, you, you, you can believe what you want to believe. I'm not here to tell you what you to believe. You know what I mean? You know, um, like I said, they got Tupac still alive in Mexico and Cuba and in, in Paris, you know, um, um, and, and all of these other places. You know what I mean? Like I said, when it comes to that, I don't play, you know, um, I don't want to do no, um, no neutron dancer like that. You know, they got stories about in Vegas, there was these body doubles. And all of this, like, 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 you know, it, it, it's so sad because, you know, all of that to say that, you know, so if Tupac were alive and faked his death, like most people would like to say and so on and so forth. So now, so when his mother passed away, you don't think that Tupac loved his mother so much that he would have or want to go to her funeral or to her services or be there? You get it? You know, so like I said, you know, I'm just not with the nonsense. I'm only with the facts. Like I said, Tupac was a friend of mine. I, I, I cared for him dearly, like I said, for the time that we spent together. And like I said, the things that I knew and the conversation that we had. And like I said, so when the brother from Tennessee, he posed this question, I got to now not just look at the fact that, you know, who Suge Knight is. And I respect Suge and all of that, too. You know what I mean? But I got to look at the facts. And the fact of the matter is that when, from, from t the time that Tupac arrived at that hospital, um, he was placed on life support. So basically, Tupac was basically flatlined when he was at the hospital. When he reached the hospital, he was already dead. And they brung him back through the life support uh, 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 protocol. You know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, to the brother uh, from uh, Tennessee, no, I don't believe it, like I said. But I won't tell you what to believe. You know, I wouldn't dare do that. You know what I mean? You, you have your own mind. And you, you at your own uh, free will to believe and do what you want to do. Okay? But thanks for the question and I appreciate it. Your boy Delray. Straight game.